walk with attitude as if you've already won the crown. I like it. That dress is hot. It's beautiful, it's elegant. Now I wanna see a little sassafras, okay? Uh, okay. I've always been kind of the ugly duckling. Not kinda, I've been the ugly duckling. I never had that look, that sexy, beautiful look. I was kind of awkward. I like to say unique. I'm liking this. You liking this? I like this. But that made me work that much harder. Think it, feel it, work it, win it. And that's why I'm sitting here today at the pageant place training winners. I've had two or three Miss Georgias. So I know with these young girls, if I get them young, I can take them all the way to the top. The pace of your walk, Hannah, is perfection. Kim is a pageant whisperer. And just the fact that she's been to Miss America, not many people can say that. Listen, we've got a pageant coming up. It's coming, and now's the time to work. You're good. I've seen what you can do. Mara, you win almost everything you're in. I mean, you win everything you win, Ainsley. I teach a handful of regulars. My pageant pros, they're not really that pro yet. They think they're pro because they've won a lot of pageants. This season, we're going to take it up a notch. The stakes are higher because we're entering the team pageant, y'all, and it's interviews. It's all about interview. A lot of you haven't even done interviews but we're gonna work on that. And I'm gonna make me a Miss America right here. You can believe that. I'm, if, if it ain't in you, one of y'all, I'm gonna find her. So it's on you. It's on you to bring your A game. Got my mom and sister here. We're gonna do a little mock pageant. Here we go, come on, Michaela. This is my favorite part. These pageants are unique to anything these girls have done. It's all about talk, talk, talk. Ain't got nothing to do with the walk, walk, walk. I am Michaela and I am the out of the box competitor. Does that sound out of the box to you? And how are you different than your mother? I'm just like my mom, a prim and proper princess. I'm not trying to build little Barbies. I'm trying to build future leaders here. So, Ansley, tell me a little bit about yourself. To the judges, please. I'm Ansley, I'm 15 years old. I sparkle like a beauty queen when I'm ready oh to God, shine. Oh, God, I'm like going back to gag <laughs> You can sparkle and shine, just not up in here, sister girl. That ain't going to work for me. If you've got interview and you can speak on stage, you can win. If not, we got a bunch of robots. And you know who I blame for that? Those mamas, that's who I blame. Kim, she's fierce. She's strict, but she's still winning, so it's obviously working. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Mara. I'm Mara, I'm 12 years old. I love can to I dance. Can I stop you real quick? Ah, uh, well, do you talk like this every day? Cause I know how you really talk and it's not in baby talk. I'm not sure I'm finding a Miss Georgia here. I'm so sick to death of seeing teenage girls boring. I'm tired of seeing boring people. Where are people with action in life and hotness and fabulousness and, and la cucarachiness and all that stuff? I'm tough. I give tough love. I believe in tough love. These young girls need somebody like me speaking truth and speaking realism into their life. I'm gonna push you places you've never been. You will break before this is over. You will. But then we'll build you right back up again, okay? Hey! Hey! Hi, come on in, Kelly, come on in. So I got a phone call from one mom, Kelly, and she said, I want my daughter to do pageants. But she is rough around the edges. Addison, come on in, how are you? I'm good. Girls, we've got a new pageant place contestant. She's gonna enter our pageant with us, coming up. What are we dealing with here? Well, we kind of got the country girl who likes to hunt, fish, shoot guns, and I think I kind of want to see the girly girl side of her. I want her to be able to experience the pageant world. I'm hoping that Kim is gonna be able to take Addison to another level of trying to be a lady. But Addison is a tough girl. If you want her to do something, if she's not in the mood to do it, she's not gonna do it. Tell me something about yourself. Okay, my name's Addison, of course. I like to hunt, I like to fish, I like to go mud bogging. I like to eat, I like to sleep. Don't like to wear high heels, I don't like to dress up. When she opens her mouth, I'm in a love-hate relationship with it. Tell me some more. About what? How about you. Okay, well, I'm bubbly, of course. I you talk. bubbly. A little country accent goes a long way, but her accent is so thick. I mean, she needs subtitles. Like, I, I just have that personality that makes it pop. Like, it's like, what? I'm the bomb. I love her. The girls are, like, just staring me down. Like, I'm, like, the weirdest person in the world. What do you want to be when you grow up? A fashion designer, well, kinda. But then I could also, <laughs> but then I could also be a veterinarian. 
I can help farm animals in need. Like if a cow's pregnant, I can go to their farm and help it like that. How does a cow get in need? I ain't gonna get in details, but they, they fall in love. <laughs> There's a lot of people Kim brings into this place, but come on, Addison, doesn't even look like she's ever ran a brush through that hair. Okay, Addison, do you have a talent? Heck yeah. What you do? I dance. Do a step, right step, do a step, right step, do a step, do a step, do a step, right step. Okay, well, we're not gonna clog here. That's my biggest pet peeve is clogging. Addison started clogging and I thought, dear, God, does every single little redneck country chick got a clog? I mean, no wonder people hate the South. They're a bunch of uneducated, hick, redneck fools because all we do is clog. Can't you sing some opera, dance a lyrical ballet, do something with some passion and class? Can you sing? Oh, Just no. try it. Let's just try to hear you do something. Oh, I'm fine. Just sing a little something. Ah, okay, I did it. Do what I say. Amazing grace. Amazing. We're gonna stick to the dance. <laughs> I see the golden potential. I love this personality. I do too. I love your personality. Ooh. You can't make that. There's something in that kid's eyes that says to me, hey, Miss Kim, I wanna do this thing. You're fresh, you're original, you're ballsy. Oh, thank you. Amen. Mom, I think we can work with her. I'm gonna take her into the office and kind of chit chat about it. All right, let's go, come on. All right. Addison, do you want to do pageants? I mean, I know I hear your mama say it, but I want to ask you one-on-one, -on -one, woman to woman, girl to girl, do you want to do pageants? Because I don't want to train somebody who don't want to do them. I love Addison, but I can't go on without her being on board. There's no way. There's feelings. Yeah, I might do a pageant just to make mama happy. You want to do a pageant? Mm-hmm. Well, I got one for you this weekend. It's a local pageant. Thanks, it's, Lizzie. it's got talent, it's got interview. Probably one of my biggest concerns because, why do you think I'm concerned about your interview? Because I say what comes up. I like how you say what comes up. Oh, well, then why are you worried? Why do you think I'm worried? I don't know. Why do you think I'm worried? Because I don't have any manners or something. <clears throat> really? I'm waiting for her to pick her nose and eat it. You know what I'm saying? The problem I have with your interview is you talk 90 to nothing. Yeah, she does. And my gosh, half the words I don't even understand what you're saying. You said ain't y'all cuz <laughs> it's a million times. That we can't do that in a pageant. Can't do it. Her personality is a 10, her speech and her dialect are a two. You know, 1.7. So she's got a lot of work to do. I wanna to talk to you about your talent because I make it a personal policy. I, I have nothing against clogging unless my girls are clogging. Tell me about your clogging experience. Oh, well, let me tell you, in 2009, at a dance competition, this man from New York gave me best presentation. My clogging solo. Listen, you'll never win a pageant clogging. You might win it tap dancing, you might win it singing, you might place in the top 10 at clogging, but you ain't winning no pageant doing no clogging dance. Well, can I do comedy in a pageant? Addison was willing to do the pageant, but what is her talent? Looking at her, I'm thinking, I don't know. It can't be milking a cow. Look in the mirror. Looking good, looking good. Anytime I get a new girl, I like to see what I'm working with, especially somebody like Addison because she's not a big fan of makeup. I have an opportunity to actually teach them how to apply makeup properly and how to be a lady. Conceal under the nose. Why is this side not like that side? Well, I just want to show you the difference. This is a natural pageant side. Like if you were gonna be in a pageant that's not a glitz pageant or not semi-glamorous, you would do a natural. Why is it so dark, though? Because this is more of a glitz or more of a zhuzhed up look for pageant day. I look like a monster. On this side, I had a glob of eyeliner, a glob of eyeshadow, and fake eyelashes on. It was a hot mess. Now listen, you've got great bone structure, little girl. Look at that. Addison for a girl that has never done pageants or is not familiar with makeup, you're gorgeous. Thank natural you. bone structure. You've even got that little cleft ever so slightly in your chin. Kelly, I mean, really, seriously, look at it. Kim worked Addison's makeup great. I, I was thrilled whenever she'd done the makeup, and I'm looking forward to see what else she can do. You've got great almond eyes, perfect. You know, everybody wants an almond eye. I thought they were green. Almond, <laughs> almond shape. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. Think you got some run for your money this wiki, girls. Addison is very, very, very rough around the edges. Is she competition? Mm, not so worried about her. Okay, so this weekend we've got Miss Sweet Onion Blossom Pageant. 
Everybody's in it. Talent. Everybody has to have a talent, two minute talent. Interview. Yes, interview. Outfit of choice. <laughs> Camo wear. Sweet onion blossom pageant, Jesus. baby. Do you want an onion? Oh. <laughs> really? Let me guess, you picked out a pageant so she could be in it that likes camo. I picked out a pageant that you guys are ready to do. When you are ready to do a higher level pageant, Angie, I'll take you there. Until then, these girls have never struck a lick in an interview, baby. And if you think I'm sending them to something that's high class, high dollar, high stakes, so they can sit in there and bomb an interview, and when it turns on me, be like, those are Kim's girls? You gotta be out of your mind. We're gonna do sweet onion blossom pageant. Caprende, do what you gotta do. Addison's timing was perfect. These guys needed a fire lit under their butt, and I needed a girl that could win the pageant. So we've got the pageant coming up. Right. It's a big deal, new girl. It's Addison. I need you to go out and get camo wear for this pageant, that theme wear for the pageant. It's There's camo a camo wear. pageant. Oh, it's a camo. No, it's not a camo pageant. It's a camo themed competition. So it's just one element of the pageant. Correct. OK. Well, then why didn't you just say that? I did, Mom, I didn't know well, I had to spell it out for you. You're sending well, the you right did. person. Uh -huh. Because she you cannot be understand the words. Right. You're sending the right person. Uh, no, I'm sending the right people. Mom's got more different tastes, special needs. Kim and I have a similar taste. Allison, not so much. No. Kim, I don't know anything about Why camo in a pageant. Hey, you do know, hey. you do know, Mom. Why can't I just go by you myself? You own a pair of pink camo pants. Can I just go but by myself? I'm not in a pageant. Will you let me finish? Hello, am I here? Yes. Can you, go can by you wait and take your turn, Diva? My God, everything does not revolve around mm -hmm. you. Everybody wants to be the boss. Allison wants to be the boss. My mom wants to be the boss. Everybody thinks they can lead, and they are lost as Easter eggs. Family business is a mistake. You're right. Yes, you're right. family business. Just chill. I will get to you. I'm coming up Al Street in a minute. What did you say? She can choose hers, and I will choose my place. Okay. Is okay. that good? That's good. I like that. Okay. 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 All right. Come on. Move along. It is dumb and dumber every time I send them out. So there's no telling what they're going to come back with for Addison. We are? Mm -hmm. I hate driving downtown. I can't stand it. I don't go downtown unless it's an emergency. So Allison says, oh, Mom, don't worry about it. I got it. You know, I'll drive. Was I supposed to go right? Except it's, I don't oh, know. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. We've missed the exit. Oh, we'll end up in Tennessee. <laughs> I don't think so. I think this way is Alabama. Allison and I are both geographically challenged. We're going northwest. northwest. We need to be going northeast. No, that does not say northeast. Oh, it does. Allison, I can read. Okay. And it's sad. So if this means northwest, that means northeast? Right. OK. OK, we're going northeast now. No, we're going southeast. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do all the driving. But that doesn't mean I always know where I'm going. I think we got to turn around. <laughs> I know that Addison needs one-on-one -on -one training. The group training is great for some of my pros, but when you get a fresh girl right off the farm, literally, you have to go and, and train one-on-one. -on -one. It made me feel really good that she came to the house. How are you doing, girl? I'm doing great. I was like shocked, because I didn't know she wanted me that bad. Interview is the hardest, most difficult part of the pageant. There's three things you have to do when you answer a question. You have to A, answer it, you have to be, tell me why, and C, give me an example, okay? Tell me what it's like to be a country girl. Being a country girl is really fun. You get to like grab the chicken's eggs, like, okay, example. Give me one. I will. Like a country girl, if a horse is giving birth, I would help it. Like I clean up the poop from the animals. Like I shovel. Yeah, we're not gonna do that in an interview. We're not shoveling poop. 
yeah. and delivering pigs or well, horses or cows. I was supposed to do it, honest. Okay, let me tell you how to answer that question. Ask me what it's like to be a country what's girl. What's it like to be a country girl? What it's like to be a country girl is what you see is what you get. I'm all country from my head to my toe, from my ruta to my tuta. <laughs> I've said that in an interview before, no lie. For real? Right hand, right hand to God. I have said ruta to tutor. I don't mind you being you, but you can't talk about poop and pee and all that. Tell me about what you want to learn from being in pageants. To be a girl? Hmm. That's good. I knew this is the turning point for her because she seemed to want it, and that I can work with. You see, being in pageants, it's about developing who you are as a person. So when I won Miss Georgia, it's made me who I am today sitting in front of you helping you get ready for your life. Girl, you remind me so much of me when I was your age. You're taking me back, girl. You're taking me back. Mom, can you just promise me today that you're not going to yell at me all day? Because no, I can't take I it. Can't I can't you. promise you. I can't take it. No, nope, can't, can't promise. Alice and I came all the way downtown because we were looking for camo clothes for the pageant. What did you bring me? Y'all looking for anything today? Yeah, looking for some camo stuff, honey, but if we need some help, I'll holler at you. Yeah, just let Is me know. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Good, thank you. I'm gonna put Addison in something that she might like with a little bit of my flair to it. Mom, let me just for a minute share with you what, what my complete vision is for this. That'll be interesting. Okay. okay. This is about Addison. I just want the child to feel comfortable in her roots and spice her up a little bit as far as the way she looks. I don't believe in keeping her in her element because when she gets out there in this pageant world, guess what's gonna happen, Allison? They're gonna, they're gonna chew her up and spit her out. Allison and I have different ideas, but luckily Kim is going to decide who has the best taste. Listen to me. Pink, all oh, this pink. Like the pink camo. I don't like it. This is what I'm talking about. That's cheesy. I don't like that. Okay, well, listen. They didn't have anything I would purchase. I love this place. This is exactly where I wanted to come. Not me. Anything I pick, just because I picked it, mother will not like it. Let I me try it on you. No, I can see it. Let me try it on. Allison, don't mess my hair. Allison! <laughs> that is terrible. Don't mess not. my hair up. Work it, it's bad. I don't know where she gets her style. I don't know where she gets her taste. She doesn't get it from me. No. Y'all always call me redneck and rickrack. I don't, I'm sick of it. I'm definitely not redneck and Rick Rack, okay? Just a little. All right. Look, we could put her in something like this uh -huh. and do the pink top and bedazzle pink jewels down the side. I love to bedazzle things. I think that is the most fabulous thing. God, thank you for creating bedazzles. We could do bedazzles here, bedazzles here, bedazzle down the front. I have often bedazzled shirts, shoes, socks, hair bows, I mean, anything. Oh, it's coming to me, thank you, Lord. You could be dazzled. Pink jewels down the side. Bedazzle it all. Bedazzle the crap out of it. Honestly, I would bedazzle my car if I could. If we don't like these, can we bring them back? I made a house call to Addison's house, so she'll be ready for the pageant. All right, girl, let me see what you got. That would be an N-O. I just don't get it. Nothing's wrong with McCoggan. I just don't see it. Like, if I was in a pageant in McCoggan, I would win that pageant, because I'm the bomb at McCoggan. I think you've got skills. That's what I'm excited about. That I, Because I thought I was going to come up here to a hot mess. Listen, I'm Southern. I'm country as a butter bean. I am from the South, and I love the South. Listen, woo! The South will rise again, just not through clogging. OK, here we go. So I brought a surprise. Ta-da! The lovely tap shoe, my dear. She wants me to tap, which I'm not very fond of because I don't know how to. Oh, Lord. Let's see, I bought two pair. You know why I bought two pair? Because sister gonna show you, okay? Put these on. The best way to teach a child to do something is to show them yourself. So for me, I wanted to show Addison how you can transition from clog to tap pretty easily and we'd be good to go. 
Let me talk to you about the difference between tap and clogging, okay? Okay. Number one is class. Number two is skill. So, so we're not going, we're not doing that. We're doing shuffle ball change. No, come close. Watch me, watch my hips, watch my arms. Shuffle ball change. Mm. Shuffle ball chain, not shuffle and change. Shuffle ball change. Shuffle ball chain. Ha 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 ha. Uh 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 uh. Try it. Okay. Oh god, we got a few days to get this puppy walk. Walk. Now, I'm not a tap dancer either, but I can fake it. It's not really about the tap. See, everybody thinks it's about the feet, feet, feet. I ain't trying to get the girl to go on Broadway, okay? I want them to win the pageant. If it's not here in the feet, you got to give it to me in the face. You know. <laughs> I mean, you got to just. Tap is all about expression. This is where it's all at. I mean, it's all in the face. It's all in selling it. Baby, I can sell it. I can tell you that. Can we do it again so you can see? Yeah. I mean, hey. oh, you gotta give me all that. Seems over the top, but think stage. Yeah. We're in your kitchen, but think it on stage. Oh God, I gotta rest. Do it. it. Forget that. That looks dumb. That looks dumb. Let's try something else. Okay. Like, there's this one here. Love it. Do that again. Let's do it together. Okay. Let's do it together. Let's go that way. Five, You're six, six, seven, eight. eight. I love it. I love it. It's awesome. Dance, Dance off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Addison seemed very receptive, and that's the key. She she was willing to learn, and the results remain to be seen. Here's your list of things to do. Okay. I want you to practice your talent. Okay. I want you to work on interview. I want you and your mama to sit one-on-one -on -one and ask each other questions. You've got to work because these other girls, they're working, honey, and they're going to show this real stuff. They got experience and they're going to bring it. You got Mara glamming it up. You got Ansley who wins every little thing she's in. They are working. So can you do it? Mm-hmm. Can you do it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> honey, what is that in the tree? Where are we? <laughs> Allison wanted to go the rugged route, the, the boyish look for Addison. I thought that we should try to find, if we're going to do a pageant, do a camo dress. Oh, yes. This is my kind of place, Allison. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, this is it, Allison. But look at all these beautiful dresses. Don't you love this place? Oh, Allison. What? White. If we can put her in that. Mm -hmm. Mom. See, she could possibly Mom. win in Stand something. Stand back with me, girl. We're looking for Mom. But the other girl. We need a camo dress. Camo dress, camo dress. Do you know? Camo to the dress. That's what we're looking for. Would this be close to camouflage? That is pokey dots, baby. It's camouflage for clowns. Don't we having fun? Well, okay, if you call this fun. We ain't finding no camo dress. Uh, uh, what? Uh, Mom. Uh, uh, shut the front, side, back, rear door. What this did is I horrible. tell you? I told you. Mom, right? This is what I think. We're going to have a healthy competition here. Hey, we're, we're back. back. What Honey, you got? I'm so excited to show you what I got today. Okay, okay. What's right. Okay, so, my feet are killing me. So we went shopping for Addison. Okay. I've got a vision here. Uh-huh. So, got some cute little cargos. Mm. Are those dude shorts? So, okay. Allison, do you understand that these are boy pants? We're trying to take Addison out of the country, I know. into glam. Thank you, know what my plan Thank is. you. My vision. There's no vision. Yeah. This, this, this is, this is dude okay. stuff. Allison has got great intentions, but she is party girl central. So it's like that movie, you know, Squirrel. That's Allison. So if anything comes up that could get her attention away from what the task is at hand, you never know what you're gonna come back with. We have like, nothing to work Mom with here. Mom was okay with me getting the pageant's too. coming up. I gotta have a camel okay, outfit. Best part. Oh Y'all are worthless. Look. Wait till you see mine. Oh, okay. Let's see what you got. I love this. <laughs> That's for a Chihuahua dog. Bag. Let me just give you the whole Please look. Please don't mess up my. I'll, I'll just let. Don't it push it down. Allison, you got the uh, Snooky look. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working. I like Snooky. Now don't move. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. That, I'm, that, not, that, I'm not hating it. I know. Listen. Okay. Watch this. Adorable. Oh, oh, oh. B.S. 
No, I look, love it. Look, is that not? Mom, I absolutely I love it. I knew you Love would. it, it's perfect. Uh -huh. All we need is hot pink heels. That's it. That's what I'm right. saying. It looks glamorous, the little hat mom. Let's do it's this. It's a chihuahua oh, hat. Oh, girl, yes. Right? Yes. I loved my camo outfit. Can I just say that? Love it. It's very, I did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. See, I don't feel that way. Yep. Oh, yeah, you got it, you Yeah, got I love it. it. This is it. This it's is it. It's a wrap, it. I love it. I knew she'd love mine. See, isn't that gorgeous? Okay. Mom always thinks she's right, but I really hate it when she is. You get me. You get it. Oh, yeah, we're classy. Oh, yeah, yep. you get me. You get me. You get me. You missed the class jean, baby. Yes, Skip right did. over you. This is pageant day. This is what we've been working the whole time for, okay? What I need you to do is just get on point, start rat teasing the crown, start putting the lashes on. I want your lips to look like that you ate a fried pork chop without any utensils, okay? I want glossy, big, honking pink lips. Addison, we're ready to hook you up. Y'all give it up for Addison for being her first, okay? I see girls in makeup and I am dreading it. I was like, oh gosh, it's about to be me in five minutes. I mean, we don't have long girls. Let's rock this thing, okay? All right, chop, chop. Pageant day is probably the most stressful day. You never bring everything you're supposed to bring. Your hair never looks right. Your teeth are not wide enough. It's just a lot of nerve. All right, out, go, let's go. I train all these girls who are vying for the same crown. And it's stressful for me as a coach because I've got to put my hands on them, make sure their makeup's right, make sure their clothes are right. It's pressure, 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 pressure. You ready to rock this? How do you feel? Good. Feel good about the tap dance? Mm hmm This was a semi-glitz pageant, and there's different kinds of pageants, so we had to doll this little girl up. See how this contour right here? Mm -hmm. Gives you that shadow, and look how it makes your neck look longer. I know, I look a giraffe. It's what you want to look like. So we did the concealer, we did the eyelashes, we did the lip gloss. We did the hair piece. I mean, we really gave her the once over. Look yourself in the mirror. Tell me what you think. I look way different. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. I do too. When I turned around in the mirror, I thought, uh, like, who is this person trapped in my body looking like this? How do you feel? Good. I think you're good. I feel good. It's different, right? Mm-hmm. Different good or different bad? Different good. I love it. When she was done, I could not believe it. You are my masterpiece. Addison went from just plain Jane to just like a princess. It was amazing. That's why we do this. Smile. Actually, Addison was beautiful after she was all dolled up. I really saw Mara and Ansley looking worried. All the moms and I were like, wow, this girl's competition. Where is the camo wear? I don't have it, honey. You went and bought the camo wear. Why didn't you bring it? Ask mom. She the one to purchase it. We've got Addison looking right. I go to get the outfit of choice to put on her, and it is nowhere to be found. I told y'all not to get that other thing anyways. Y'all should have just worn what I got anyways. Allison, doofus number one, was supposed to get the outfit and bring it to the pageant. I'm naked. Was she going to go naked out there? Mom. That ain't going to work. We have a camo dress. They couldn't find it. My daughter's going to be going on stage in front of a crowd of people. Is she going to look crazy? Is she going to look dumb? She's supposed to wear this? Hey, why don't you let her just take the flask out there with her? Kim, shut up. That's mine. This? She's supposed to wear this? That's for me, too. She's not wearing this. We ended up having the stuff that Allison brought, which was Rick Rack. We have nothing to put this child in. And I'm thinking, what am I going to do? What am I gonna do? Y'all, we got five minutes till stage. Let's go. Oh, you look gorgeous. She's supposed to wear this. She's supposed to wear these. This is camo wear. Allison was supposed to bring the outfit for this camo pageant, and it is nowhere to be found. I would have bedazzled all of this. See, the more if you they would have let the me more do you that. talk, it doesn't get any better the more you run that side. But they kick some horrible I'm sorry, dress. she's gonna have to wear this. Horrible. This well or this. This is good. This is good. It's got some bedazzle to that it. That is so plain. That ain't gonna work. I think we really got to put on this rip right crap and make it work. 
Oh, no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Mom, put these on. Really? Edison, she was positive about the whole thing. You know, I think I was more frustrated than she was. She was like, I can rock anything. What do you want me to wear? I think this is so ironic that you didn't want to use my stuff, and now that's what you got to use. Praise Jesus. I like it, I like it, I like it. It's coming together. This is a make it work moment. I like it. It's actually it's cute. A lot of times in pageants, you just have to have a make it work moment. Dresses rip, things happen, you forget things. I mean, I've done a pageant where I've had to wear an evening gown for talent and the evening gown. Still won. But you just have to make it work. Give me right, the beanie, though. Right. Where's the hair clip? OK, here. Like that, Kim? Mmm. Y'all should have went with what I said. I totally saved the day. And secretly, I'm really, really glad that I forgot the dress. Remember, it's not about what you're wearing. It's about what you're projecting. That's it. Good. I love it. Let's go. One minute. Let's go. Let's everybody out the door. Please exit to the left in case of an emergency. We'll do last looks in the wings. Let's go. Have fun. And remember, you're not competing against each other. You're competing with yourself. Right hand up, say, I promise. I promise. I will always. I will always. Represent the pageant place. Represent the pageant place. As I should. As I should. Amen. 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 All right, make it happen. Good evening. Thank each one of you for participating today, and a special thanks for all the beautiful girls. Good luck to all of you. Have fun, and most of all, make memories. We will get started here. Contestant number one, Jennifer. All right, go Jennifer! Contestant number two, Caitlin. Oh, look good. You're beautiful. When I'm trying to size up a pageant, I just go with my gut. And nine times out of 10, it's right. Because I'm backstage, I'm seeing what the competition is. And I knew we had some winners. All right, Mara, Mara, come on, Mara. Come on, Mara. She just forgot. Do something. Mara blanked, went blank, and just stood there. Uh, Addison, 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 when you get out there, listen, I want you doing this. Oh, God, don't count, stop. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, exactly. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I was very nervous. I had no idea how this thing was going to roll. I didn't know if she was going to be able to, to handle it, handle the pressure, and to perform. expressions, her opening their mouth like Kim was teaching her how to do it. I mean, I really saw another side of her and I am so proud of her. Nice job, Addie. Nice job. First time. Good job. Girl. I missed something so bad. No, you no, didn't. No, no, you no. Didn't. Okay, I forgot. I just it just went blank, so I just did something. You we got gold, people. If you can get on stage, forget what you're doing, and make it up as you go, you're a winner. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Allison, let me see your ankles. This is the thing about Allison. Everything's going great. Allison falls and sprains her stupid ankle. Can you move it? Par for course. Are you all right? Which I, ankle is it? It's the left one, and that's my good one. I'm a cheerleading thing for my right just one. Just chill out. It's probably just sprained. The injury. Stand Listen. up. Get them darn <laughs> shoes off. Mara, go get on stage. You've got to go. And now you've fallen like, oh, and the girls are running around her, and my mom's around. I'm thinking, oh, my Lord. This is now the Allison pageant, because it's always about Allison. Are you all right, baby? You think you can walk? No. The show must go on. Yeah. This is the freaking story of my life. Okay. Get her a stool. We will move on to our on-stage question. We will begin with Thanks, Mama. I love you. Alice and I have been fighting and scrapping for number one spot in our house for years. And when she fell and broke her ankle, I thought, you've got to be kidding me. Are you OK? Yeah. <laughs> I know. 
I can't believe this. The show must go on. It's always about her. Somehow, some way, she will twist that thing to make it about her every time. Well, in a little bit. <laughs> Let's welcome back contestant number three, Catalina. What is your favorite thing to do and why? My favorite thing to do is playing softball because it's my favorite sport. If you could make your sister do anything for one day, what would you make her do and why? I'd like for her to take me to New York to see the Statue of Liberty. That was too short of an answer. For one dollar, I could buy anything off the dollar menu at McDonald's, and this would definitely make me happy because I love to eat. All right, me too, girl. I love to eat too. Oh, Go ahead, Antoine. Antoine. This is not a new experience for my girls to be on stage in pageants. It is for them talking on stage in pageants. So let's see. Do you feel that you are spoiled or pampered and why? I am not spoiled, I am well loved. Because I'm an only child and I get everything I want, just like a diva. Ansley is a typical spoiled, entitled young woman. However, it's not the kind of thing you need to be sharing on stage with the judges in a pageant. Contestant number six, Addison. Oh, girl, for her first time, I'm dying. I swear, I feel like I'm on stage for the first time. I feel like I've just given birth <laughs> without an epidural. Addison. Tell us what you have done in your life that has made you the happiest. Going to dance competition in 2009 in New York City. It's always been a dream of mine since I was a little girl. And I love to dance. I just love everything about it. It was a blast. I had a great time with all my family and friends. When I looked at the judges and I saw they were seeing what I was seeing, I knew this kid could possibly win this pageant. Crowning moment is the most important moment of the whole day. I'm so nervous. You have no idea. I mean, seriously, sick to my stomach. I could throw up a little bit in my mouth. In fact, I did. Our first runner up is contestant number 13, Ansley. Good job, Ansley. Job. That was a shocker, Ansley getting first runner up. You know, she wins everything she's in. So that had to be a uh, Debbie Downer for her, for sure. <laughs> and our queen is contestant number six, Addison. <laughs> My girls wins, it feels like I'm winning. I'm right up there with them, heart and soul. It felt the bomb to win. I was so shocked. I was like, what the crap? Yes! I could not believe that was her on stage. And I actually saw a lady and I actually saw a huge transformation. Kim performed a miracle. Gorgeous. This is what I love about transforming. Addison did the work and she won. We took her from A to Z in a matter of days. And when she was done, I was blown away. I thought, wow, you know, she does have something. And that made me feel like what I'm doing means something, matters. Pageant Place! Woo! See? Oh, no. See? Oh, no. I'm so proud of you. Thank you came, you, so you listened, you did the work, yeah, no. you won. Okay. So what do you think, Mama? Will you come back? Yes. Definitely. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, definitely. Come back. She's good. I see yeah. a future Miss Georgia here. I, 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 I do too. I was kidding. <laughs> no, you're not kidding. No, you're not kidding. <laughs> I'm proud of you. I want to Miss America. Seeing a girl that I've trained go to Miss America 
and win would fulfill that dream for me. If Addison has that, it remains to be seen. I'm curious. Seriously, really curious. Well, Lord, I tell you, I've had a rough day. Yes. I'm well, ready to the go. show must go on, right? The show, show must go on. Must go on. Allison, yeah. hold up. What? That's the wrong ankle. You're limping on the wrong ankle. God, Allison. help me. I forgot, I forgot. Get, get it the right ankle, then. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Your special needs. I love y'all. I do. I love you, too. Chiffon says old. Oh. I don't like anything that emphasizes the breast area on a young girl. Mm. This week, we've got a big pageant. So I asked all the mothers to bring in their daughter's pageant gowns so I could see if any of those dresses that they have will work. I don't like this. For Ansley, I see grace, I see class, I don't see this. Gowns are so important in pageants. A gown should be classic, it should be timeless, it should state your personality. Like if you look at my gown from Miss Georgia, it's still relevant today other than the large shoulder pads. I could put it on today and go win. That's what a gown should be. This dress is awful. <gasps> I think it's the worst dress hanging up here. It was like a mortgage payment. Well, y'all need to go ahead and just don't mortgage your home anymore because this ain't gonna cut it. Allison, do you like this? I love the color. What I don't like is the top. The gown is like the Taj Mahal of the pageant world. You're crowned in this dress, so it becomes a trademark for you. Ansley, I love this dress, just not on you. <laughs> I want you to be elegant. This is a big pageant for you. It's your first time singing. It's not Ansley's first big pageant, but it's her first big pageant doing talent, and I feel that is our biggest weakness. So she better have an amazing dress. None of these dresses are gonna work for this pageant. None of them. If these girls are gonna make any kind of impact, they need to update their looks, their gowns. We've gotta have a gown that's polished and something that shows a lot of taste and class, which these mothers do not have. So as usual, I've gotta step in and steer the boat. Girl, you ain't got but a couple days. What's I got you? an idea, I got an idea. I'll be right back. I've got an idea, I'm gonna call in a favor. Hey, this is Kim from the Pageant Place. How are you? One of the best dress shops in our area is Girly Girl, and my friend Tracy, who owns it, has impeccable taste. We need new gowns, girl, for this pageant. Can you hook us up? She knows what it takes. She dresses a lot of winners. I called Tracy. And? And I got my favor. You all are going to pick out dresses. Woo! I can't go dress shopping with y'all. So, Allison, I want things that are classy. White is for winners. I don't like the dress, but hot pink for Hannah. Grace Kelly for Ansley. OK. Okay. Moms, I am so excited about this adventure with y'all. We're gonna have a blast. Woo! I sent Allison shopping with the girls and the moms because I have an appointment with a girl who wants me to train her. Good, I'm Lauren. And I have heard she is an amazing singer, but I got to hear that for myself. I'm tired of seeing you everywhere I go. I just want you gone away from me. I'm looking for the next Miss Georgia. So I'm looking for the girl that I can train and groom because you can't make a talent. You can make a hairpiece, you can slap some lipstick on her, but you can't make her have talent. And she clearly has it. Can't you just go, leave me alone, get out of my head, my tears are all shed, I have nothing left, so just hold your breath. Away. I like it. Good, I'm glad. I'm not a pageant girl. I'm not, I'm not good at walking in heels. I'm pigeon-toed, but I really, I wanna sing. That's my main thing, I just wanna sing. And I, I need your help. I need this to be a step for me to get exposure, and I need to go somewhere with this. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. When you walked in, I thought, what in the world has just crossed my door? And then when you opened your mouth to sing, I got it. And that's the very reason I did pageants, was to sing. Mm -hmm. So I think you've come to the right place. Welcome to the pageant place. Before Lauren walked in the door, I've never had a girl say to me, Kim, I want you to train me. The mothers call me to train them. I've never had a daughter reach out to train her. I was begging, borrowing, stealing. I was doing everything I could. I didn't steal. Just begging people to hear me. Please hear me sing. Help me so I can totally relate to Lauren. She reminds me of me, and I like her. I got a pageant coming up real quickly. Okay. Uh, I gotta get your mom and dad involved. Gotta get them to sign the paperwork for the pageant. We gotta get you to start trading. 
Ooh, I don't know about that. What do you mean? My dad is not, I don't know about the Your pet. dad? My dad. Dads are afraid in general of their daughters having sex. Okay, one. Number two, they're worried about her being too sexy, too grown, too soon. I mean, I know what dads are thinking because dads were those dudes. He's just very conservative. He's a preacher. <sighs> yeah, he's a preacher. How does he feel about push-up bras? Lipstick and hair. Yesterday I had a pair of shorts on and he told me never to wear them again because they were too short, but they were like not short. Great. I totally get all the daddy do's and don'ts. Then let's add preaching to the mix and you really gonna have a lot of do's and don'ts. I really wanna work with you and I want you to work with me, but I don't wanna tell my dad. Girl, we have to tell your dad. Mm -hmm. We have to get his blessing. I can talk to your dad. Okay. I asked Lauren to call her dad so that he can meet us in town so I could talk him into letting me work with his daughter. I've never met a parent that didn't like me or didn't think I could do it. You just gotta let him be right. You gotta let anything he says. I can't to... let him be right if he's wrong. Just mm -hmm. go along with him. No, he needs to go along with me, because I'm right. My dad is very intimidating. He can make someone cry if he wants to. So I was just trying to let her know ahead of time that it might be a little scary. You need to do this. You want to do this. I see the fear in her eyes. And him saying no is like God saying no. And when God says no, that's pretty definite. I got a feeling that this is going to be a rough one. How you doing, Hey, sir? Dad. Hey. I'm Kim. Kim, I'm Steve. Nice to meet you, Steve. Good to meet you, too. Surprisingly, the man's kind of handsome. He wasn't holding the Bible or nothing. I mean, it seemed more normal. You know, I thought, OK, well, he seems to be a modern cat that I can kind of talk to a little bit. Lauren, she's got an amazing talent. You know that, right? Yeah, I mean, she's awesome. She is, she's gifted. I mean, I've had a chance to spend a little time with her and you've done good, Dad. Huh. You and Mom did real good. And I think she's a contender to be Miss Georgia. And she told me that you're a little bit hesitant about the pageant world and I'm wanting to hear your side of it. Well, Kim, our perspective on that whole pageant thing, while it's not negative for what it is, I just don't really know that that's her destiny uh, because they focus on a lot of the externals. You know, they focus on what's on the outside. We want Lauren to be beautiful for who God has made her to be, uh, not for what the world thinks she ought to be. Well, what the heck does he want her to do? Does he want her to go sing in clubs? Because really that's the only other thing you could do. As a singer-songwriter, you go sing in clubs or you do pageants. But pageants are a safe haven. It's all chicks. I hear what you're saying, mm. but at the same time, I, I think you're wrong. Mm. Well, Kim, I, I know you've been very successful, but don't come in here and tell me that I'm wrong about how I feel about my daughter. If anything, that's just gonna seal the deal in my mind, in my heart, that this is not for you. I don't think this guy gets the potential of his daughter and the talent level she has to be a Miss Georgia. I don't want him to step in and squash her dreams. I need y'all to listen to me. I want you to look around. Understand that I'm thinking out of the box. When I holler at you, come see me because I found a dress for you. Go, look around. Look around, moms. Kim has sent me dress shopping with all these girls and their moms. We've got an upcoming pageant, and honey, they need some new looks. I like this one. Look at that, is that feathers? OMG. Uh-uh, I have to try it. Okay. Kim is wanting Ansley to change up her style. She's wanting her to have this old Hollywood glam look, very Grace Kelly, and Ansley's ready for a change, so maybe a change will be good. Ansley! Come here, Lee and Ansley, please. I want you to try this on. I want wow. you to think out of the box. That's out of the box. I think Ansley is definitely the Grace Kelly Hollywood look. But you know, I, I difference in opinion with Kim sometimes. I would like to see Ansley pick something that's a little more edgy. To me, she's a little boring sometimes. Mara. Heck no. That looks like a freaking bumblebee. No. Do you, you know, know what a 12 year old in a thing listen, cut down? No, listen. Mm. They actually were questioning my judgment on some of these dresses. Kim wouldn't even let Mara wear an open-ended interview suit. I understand, but this is Allison okay, Day. Okay, go put this it on. This is Allison go Day. Put it on. Michaela, Michaela, I want you to put it on, girl, and come strutting it out. Ansley, now look, I was thinking, sleek, short feathers. 
Okay. I need you to try. Allison, you have lost your freaking mind. I yes. can't wear this to compete in. Honey, you can wear whatever I tell you to wear. Now, I know there's no way that flapper dress is going to work on Ansley. Kim sent me to do a job, I'm doing the job. Try to dress on. Thank you. Where's my phone? Hey, I got to call Thank Kim. Y'all are hey, crazy. Thank God Angie's here. Real quick, just let me talk, just talk to your dad for a minute. The great thing about Lauren is she writes, sings, plays her own music. Do you know how rare it is to find talent? I've got to get her daddy to say yes. All right. Dad, do you see the fact that she is wanting to do this? Do you see that? The fact that she's wanting to spread her wings, she's wanting to branch out a little bit? You know? She wants to expand and she wants to grow, um, but I think that you're seeing an opportunity for you. Oh, heck yeah, I am. Yeah. Absolutely. Lauren doesn't like to admit it, but she's kind of a small town girl. She's got big visions for herself to be part of the big city life and fame and fortune, but she doesn't really fully know what that all means yet, and she doesn't know there's a cost to all that. You're a man of God. You're called of God to do what you do, but I'm prophetic in my own right. I have the gift of discernment. I see this kid being larger than life, and I don't want her to lose her foundation either. Trust me. I want your blessing. Do I have your permission to train Lauren and enter her in a pageant. So I'm just sitting out there all alone. I'm freaking out. There were so many scenarios going through my head, I didn't know what was gonna happen. How did it go? Well, your dad's a tough nut to crack. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to tell me. And, um, He said no. Kim, I really want to do I this. I know, I know. I want you to. I think you got a lot of talent. I get so emotionally attached to these kids. I'm, just, I'm being honest with you. You know, I'm back in my teenage years trying to get somewhere and be somebody. I want you to train me. I need this. I've been trying so I cannot so go hard. against your parents. I have to get to the next step. This can't be it for me. Please, Kim. Just, what kind of mom would I be if the roles were reversed and my children were in the same situation? Just please, Kim, more than anything ever in the world, I need this. I need you to help me. I see a lot of potential in Lauren, and I see something I really want her dad to see. You know, talk is cheap, but if I can show dad what Lauren has, he might come around. All right but you better do everything I say. I will do everything. I will not argue, I will not. Every little I nugget I tell you, everything I tell you to say and walk and do. <laughs> oh, come on, girl. So against my better judgment, I decide to commit to training Lauren anyway. We'll see if I go to hell or not. I'm not sure. Thank God I'm saved, and I believe once saved, always saved. <sighs> you weren't so talented. <laughs> Debbie, oh, I no, see no. it. Oh, God, no, 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 Debbie, no. this is it. Oh, Lord, I'm gonna oh, have a heart attack. Box. Sometimes we gotta get out of the box. Come on, I need to see these dresses on here. Oh, Angie, what are you doing? Oh, my gosh. Angie picked up that phone and called my sister. I thought I was gonna lose my crap. Angie, do not be calling Kim behind my back. She has left this task up to me. I am very capable of doing this. Personally, I like it. But it's not for It's not for Mara, but I like the dress. She has no torso for that. I love it. I love I the color. I, like I love the everything color, about it. It's a little, it's not. Okay, try on the copper. I'm, I, I want to see the copper before I make a decision about that. Oh. Hannah, hey, I am hurt. Look. That oh. is what Kim will like, I'm telling you. Hold it in. Turn to the side, Ansley. Look. That is Grace Kelly. That, that is, is classy. This is graceful. After seeing what all Allison was picking out, Angie and I go and find Ansley a gown. This is like some thrift dress that I've ever even tried on. Ever. I think I looked really good in it because when I first stepped into it, it like fit perfectly. So it maybe it was meant for me to have.
Y'all have hurt my feelings today. I know, but listen, I just don't think that you... I just don't think you know how to bring your fashion sense into the elegant side. We're taking some of my dresses, Angie. Whether y'all like it or not, okay? So you will take the dress that I said, and you can take the other one you like, but you're taking that one too! Angie, it's okay. Lauren, Lauren, meet everyone. How are ya? I sent Allison to get these new gowns for the girls, including Lauren, to spice it up a little bit. Listen, I've got a little something for you in wardrobe. Picked it wow. out myself. I want you to go check it out. Okay. All right, go. go. And so I can't wait to see what she's picked out. Please. All right, Ansley, let's show her. One, think creative, <laughs> and two, think out of the box. <laughs> a leopard skin dress. Really, Al? That's what you're gonna pick out and cut down to here for a 15-year-old? It's and we're gonna animal pull, print. Listen, and we're gonna pull this. It's an ugly color. Come on, this is a big pageant for her. I said I wanted Ansley in something really classy in Grace Kelly. Okay, all right, listen. Let's pull Hannah out. Allison. Hannah, oh. bring it, baby. I told you. Show her. Oh. You the got color, the color, you love the color pink now, pretty. Kim. You said pink. I brought you pink. And then Hannah looked like a little bubblegum candy cotton little lick and stick thing. What is she got on these kids? Kim, My gosh, I, I wore that in the you. 1989 prom I went to. Kim, I can't argue Whenever with you we did this. All these moms and all these daughters about dresses. That now. purple so dress. Do a job. This is worse than the purple dress she competes in now with. No. Yes. She can't help. She ain't got no taste. I have taste. You don't right. have taste. Look at you right now, honey. You look. I like feel you. good about me. Turn around. Oh my gosh, your daddy is gonna kill me. <laughs> I'm getting. Oh. I'm, I'm starting to get so freaking. I can't even see straight. I will not allow this girl to walk out there like that. This is stunning. That pink one? No, this one. Why don't you go put this on? Ansley, bless her heart. Her little face, that little lip starts quivering. This is your dress. Kim had no idea it was Ansley's gown. I feel horrible. I sent you, I trusted you, and y'all come back with one dress that's acceptable. It's a disaster. Ansley, I didn't give your dress away. I'm so sorry that happened. We just don't see eye to eye. Our taste is different. We'll fix it, I promise. Ansley had fallen in love with that dress. I gotta make this right. I'm not gonna be happy unless I have that light dress. I'm not. What do you think your mom's going I'll to say? I'll punch somebody for that dress. I know you will. What if she wins in that dress? Then I'm gonna be really it. mad. Let's just see what you got. Okay. Just give me a walk. Okay. Come on back. You hate it. I don't you hate, hate it. it. I don't hate, hate it. it. I don't hate no, it. No, honey, we're gonna fix it. Lauren has the figure for pageantry for sure. Do you look down all the time? She doesn't have the polish. She does not know how to walk for pageants. Are you gonna smile or are you just gonna have the rocker snarl? There's a lot of work to be done with little Lauren. Okay. Got good like a flamingo. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, Take it off. I stand right? You're thinking about it too much, Lauren. I can't, I, I'm not pageanty. What is pageanty? I don't feel like I can do the walk. You've probably been used to being a big fish in a little pond. At Daddy's church, you're a superstar, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. And now you've come to Atlanta, and we're exposing you to things you're not comfortable with. But instead of facing that fear and saying, I'm going to do this thing, you have a little bit of judgment towards pageants. What is your motivation for doing this? Singing. Then keep that at the very end of this runway, and you're walking towards your singing career as you're walking down the runway. Kim is right. You know, I came here to sing, and I can't let these little things get in my way. I got to prove it to her and my dad that I can do this. Walk purposeful. Miles. Oh. Turn. Is that right? That was close. We still got a lot of work to do with Lauren. But if you cannot skillfully walk in a pair of heels, the judges are going to see that. Practice, practice, practice. 
Nay, 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 nay. Okay, girls, it's vocal lesson time. Vocalization is huge, especially for my singers because it's more than just the walk and the talk and the cute little wave and the crown. We do weekly voice lessons because these girls have to public speak too, so you have to learn how to use your voice, that instrument. It's not about screaming, it's about control. This is gonna help you with control. Give me a C. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> let's do it. Give me your ho, 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 ho. <laughs> come on, come on, focus, focus. A lot of times when Ainsley gets nervous, she giggles. Focus, this is helping with your voice. <laughs> Trust me. All right, do it, Ans. It's frustrating. You know, Kim's worked so hard to get Ansley comfortable with her singing. I can. You can. Go. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> get on pitch. It still needs some work. We'll say it needs some tuning, but we are getting there. Lauren, you do it. <laughs> Go. Hoo, 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 hoo. Excellent. Another thing you can do too to warm yourself up is just kind of get crazy. <laughs> get loose. Let's go. Just get like, like just kind of just do it like you're riding a horse. Come on, you got boots on. Let's go. Just get like, I want to do this. Why? You too cool for that? You look like a monkey. Do you want to sound like a monkey? Lauren, so help me God, she has a snotty look on her face. I just went out of love for you here, girl. I'm taking you against your father's blessing. And now you think I'm silly? Wait a minute. Is it because you're afraid you ain't got no rhythm? Oh, I got rhythm. Oh, you got rhythm? Okay, well, come on up here, Lauren. Lauren's got rhythm, and we go hear Lauren's rhythm. Come on, Lauren. Give me amazing grace. So, I mean, she's so cocky. She thinks she can sing. Let's go, girl. Show me what you got. You got soul, show me your soul. <laughs> I did not expect her to put me on the spot. She's looking at me, everyone's looking at me. Singing on the spot, it's hard to do that. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. I'm listening. That saves a wretch like me. I want okay, come, 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 come. Let me show you so. Oh my God. Most of the time when these girls and when anybody has this kind of little attitude, this is silly or I know a little bit more than you, nine times out of 10 it's because they're scared to death to be open, real, and transparent. And sometimes with these kids, you just gotta show them. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but toot toot, okay? A wretch, ah, 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 like me. When you can get control like that, is when you can stop dancing like a monkey. If we have any hope of convincing Lauren's dad that pageants are part of her destiny, I'm gonna have to get this little girl to sing like she feels it. And since I plan to invite her daddy to this pageant to show him, she better feel it. You're close. You need a little bit more soul. world, it's all about creating a moment. Right. Create a moment with this song. I've got to do some one-on-one -on -one training with Lauren to go over her song and get her ready for the pageant because when she's performing or singing in this pageant, I want her soul to be exposed to people. I want her to lay it out for everybody to see, especially her dad. I'm tired of seeing you everywhere I go. All right, right there. If this was from a breakup, you are not making me feel that. I'm hearing, I just love to. I wanna, he I wanna okay. feel the pain. I wanna feel the angst. Okay. I'm tired of seeing you everywhere I go. Better. Get chill, little chill, little chill. I can't take this pain or the memory. Okay, so look, you gotta sing it like you can't take the pain. Can't take this pain, memories. Kim is consistently trying to pull out soul. Anything she sings, she sings it 
from the bottom of her heart. She really was trying to make me feel the song, feel my lyrics, because they're my lyrics, and so, of course, I need to feel them. I have nothing left, so just go for it. Go, 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 go. I have nothing left. left. I mean, okay. you're supposed to be a rocker, right? When you go up to those top notes, give me a little rawr, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So. So. Okay. Can't you just go? from the chick. And the judges will eat this up. I'm telling you, people will feel what you're singing. The judges will feel it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I can do that song for the pageant. I'm not, I mean, I've never performed that song. I don't know if I can, I don't. Lauren, that is an amazing song. I've got another song I've been working on. I think it can blow you away. Blow me away? <laughs> do you know what it takes to blow me away? A lot. It's a song I want to sing for my dad, if he comes. All right. It's on you, boo. I'm inviting him. I was scared. Her song choice scared me. But bottom line is, I wanted her to represent herself so that her father could see Lauren, not a pageant girl. And that's her choice, not mine. It's super awesome, and it's going to be good. Day is here, y'all, and I'm telling you, it's exciting every time. It's Lauren's first pageant, and it's Ansley's first time singing. So I've got two singers competing today. We got the situation with the old daddy O. Oh, God. I called him. I hope he shows. But you know, he really don't want her to do this pageant. Uh oh. So I called Lauren's dad last night and told him the truth that I'd been training Lauren, and I invited him to see the pageant. And I'm hoping he sees how beautiful she is and how talented she is in pageantry. Good Just, morning. Oh, morning. Hey, Lauren. How are you? Oh, Good. Hi. Come on in, honey. Thought I told you to tan. Remember, I told you last night to tan. I know, but I, I didn't. I said exfoliate and tan. Exfoliate and tan. Why didn't you tan? I exfoliated. Come on, girl. We got to get started. We got lots to do. And roll her good now, Kim. Get it even, girl. You probably are not used to wearing much makeup. For stage, we're gonna zhuzh you up a little bit more. We're gonna have to glamour up some, because she's just a simple girl. I mean, she's kind of a granola girl. There's three Bs you can't do without. Your bra, your Bible, and your brows. Now, your daddy has to like that, surely. The only thing Lauren is in this for is to sing. And I've gotta let her get through a pageant to get her hooked in pageantry. She's gotta like them to win them. And with her talent, she can go all the way to the top. Open up real slow. Is it working? Is it working? Yeah, it's trying. Oh! oh. <laughs> I'm good. Have you ever had a moment? Pageant day is nerve wracking, and I feel Ansley needs all the practice she can get. Not fast before you ride. Everything you had is gone. I can't do this. It's too low. Close your eyes if you have to. Can't. The song was a great song. It was just I've never had to sing in talent. So I was freaking out. I can't. Don't cry. Don't cry. Please don't cry. Ansley is having a meltdown. It's her first big pageant doing talent. And Lauren is singing. Ansley's intimidated. I need Kim, and I need Kim right now. What's going on? What's going on? So I'm right in the middle of getting Lauren ready, and I learned that Ansley has had a meltdown. Tell her. It's not me that won't sing it, it's you. Oh my gosh. I told her there was no time for this. Don't. What's going on? Talk to me. It don't sound good. You do. If you didn't, I would tell you, you have got to face this fear. Now, we have been talking about this for literally over a year. I just don't want to do this. I'm not ready for talent. What are you really, really nervous about? I want to get made fun of. If they make fun of you, so what? So Ansley's scared about singing, and Lauren sings off the chain. But Ansley needs to stop comparing herself and push past this fear. It's time for you to grow, Ansley. I think once she does that, she can win the whole thing. Winning Miss Georgia was fantastic but losing Miss America
taught me more. Mm -hmm. It's the failures that make you who you are, not the wins. And you don't like to fail. You don't want to lose. It's true. Now I'm holding your feet to the fire and I'm challenging you as one of my girls to rise to the occasion and step up there and sing anyway. I'll be back there cheering you on the entire way. I don't care if you start bawling, but you have done it. What do you say? Now I'm holding your feet to the fire and I'm challenging you as one of my girls to rise to the occasion and step up there and sing anyway. I'm just not ready. After that pep talk, she's still not gonna sing? Really? Oh, child. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. I can only do so much. We're short on time. We've got five minutes and you're on. Oh my gosh, look how short this thing is. Okay, stand up. This is your talent dress. <laughs> well, I went a little edgy with her talent. I wanted her to keep her harder rock edge. I wanted to show off her legs, and I knew the guitar would cover just enough. I think mom thought it was a little short, but I thought it was just dead on. It's like a disco ball. It's cute, but it's like a so short. My dad's gonna kill you. I'm freaking out, because dad already doesn't want me to be here, and that's a short dress, but I hope my dad realizes that I'm not a little girl anymore. Mom. Dad's gonna kill me for that short dress. You're exactly right. He is. Mm -hmm. Is it too short? That short? It's gonna come to here. Lauren, keep your drawers on. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Woo! Welcome to the 2013 USC United Pageant. Woo! All right. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to meet our junior Miss contestants. Pageant is starting off with talent. Ansley's not singing, and Mara now is my only other contestant competing for talent, other than Lauren, obviously. <laughs> there he is, Lauren's dad. Part of me is like, yay, he came. Part of me is like, oh my God, he came. I was really disappointed to find out that Kim and Lauren went behind my back the way they did. Uh, I was under no circumstances willing for them to do this. And they went ahead and did it anyway, without my consent. Did you see your dad? He's there. Okay. I'm really glad he showed up, because I want to show my dad I'm ready for the next step. I am getting older. I'm ready to sing my heart out to everyone that wants to hear. Ansley. Listen, I want to talk to y'all. I'm sorry about the white dress screw up. Mm -hmm. So in an effort to right my wrong, I've got something here that, that I've picked out for Ansley. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Allison expects Ansley to walk in this gown. And I've seen Allison's taste. Let's get this zipper. So let's just go ahead and just take a little peek. See, let's pull it out the bag, Lee. <laughs> is that not beautiful? Wow. I'm happy. I have never seen Ansley smile so big, which blessed my heart. And then I'm like, see, Kim? You can trust me with these tasks. I can get the job done. OK, let's go. This is your moment to really shine, OK? This is your moment. Sing from your heart. Sing with soul. I want you to make your father proud. Okay. Make him not regret coming tonight and make me not regret training you. Okay. Okay? Let's do this. Go. It's all on you, Lauren. My hope for Lauren is that she will sing her song with such soul and such passion that the audience feels every word that she's singing. It's a make or break moment. I just hope Lauren's song choice is good enough to show her daddy what she really can do. took my heart away 
she came out all made up and dressed up, and she sang a song I had never heard her sing before. It was kind of shocking. He said any love is good love. So I took what I could get. I took what I could get. You ain't seen nothing yet. Baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. My song choice was really truth. There's so many things I'm gonna do and you're gonna see it, but you have not seen anything yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. Baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. Lauren did fabulous in talent. I'm just hoping she can translate that into evening gown with her walking, because it's way out of her comfort zone. And her dad not being a big fan of pageantry? Oh, Lord. I'm worried. OK, OK, so beauty walk, tea. Take your time, milk it. Don't get too in a hurry. You look scared. What's up? I'm scared. Are you? Yes, Talk you're it through. Me Talk it through. Do I stop whenever I first go on stage? Yes. Always look at your judges. Look at your judges. Look at your judges. And I just, I do the same pose. Yes. Kim saying, look here, look here, spin here. You have to do it with this part of your foot. And it's taken all of my being not to just run out crying. Yes. How oh, Lauren, that's like crazy. Gorgeous. I don't even feel like myself. You look beautiful. You are a tough nut to crack. She had attitude coming at me with attitude. I know. But this is silly. This is stupid. I feel weird. How do you feel now? Pretty. Yeah. Aww. And you are, inside and out. The white dress looks fantastic on Lauren. It was classic. It was conservative. It was the perfect dress for Lauren for her first pageant, with her dad in the audience not approving. Kim. A uh whole -huh. zipper just broke. It broke. Are you for real? I'm for real. Like, it's maze balls to her butt. Oh my gosh. Are you flipping? Kidding me. I swear, I feel like I can never win. I cannot believe this. You've yeah, got, how in the world are we gonna do this? Oh my You're gonna Lord, have to undo it from the top. And I'm, afra I'm afraid if, if I do it from the top, this thing is gonna pop. I've gotta get on the floor. Who's got a needle and thread? Oh <gasps> my God. Oh Lord. Oh my gosh. Do you have her other dress? Yes, I do. Go get it. We gotta do that. Oh, I know. Go put the white one on. Go, this is too much. Go put the white dress on. She looks so oh, This sucks. No way the dress could be worn. And to stitch it at that point, she would have lost points for not being on stage at the right time. So Ansley had to wear her old dress, the one dress she didn't want to wear. I cannot believe it. She's that. got the white one. It's the saving grace. Ansley's very comfortable walking in heels and an evening gown and looking real pretty. But unfortunately, that's not gonna win you the crown of Miss Georgia. And that's her goal. So she's gonna have to step it up. Seeing her in that white gown kind of put a little bit of a lump in my throat, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of made me see her in a whole new light. But I may have to burn that gold dress. I looked out and her dad had this little half smile and I was like, oh, you know, I'm like doing all this, you know. Are we ready for some crowding? I don't know. I mean, I know what I would choose. I mean, the fact the girl plays her own instruments and sings with heart, you never know. The adult talent winner is... Lauren? <laughs> It was hard to sit there and watch Lauren compete in a gown that was obviously made for my daughter. And then seeing her win in it, mm, not so happy. Go, baby, go! Wonder what dad is thinking now. Go, Lauren! Getting the trophy was awesome. I felt so accomplished because it was something that I didn't think I could do. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, oh, my gosh. When they said your name, 
in my pants. Yeah, you had the soul and it won. I'm so proud of you. How do you feel? I mean, I was nervous about the song. I was nervous about all of it. Aren't you not mad? <laughs> what I saw tonight is, is who you really are. It wasn't a big act and a big plasticky fake thing. I saw you tonight, mm. and that's all that really matters. You are what's worth watching, and I'm just really proud of you. I love you, my girl. I love you. I feel like I can do anything, and I can accomplish anything I want to do, and now I'm going to go out, and I'm going to sing, and I'm going to win the world over, starting with my dad. Are you going to cry again? I can't help it. I think Lauren's transformation was more on the inside. It's her heart and her soul. I think she's figuring out who she is and what her message should be. And if I've helped plant that seed, then I've done my job. <laughs> I just have one last question for okay. you. OK. We got another pageant coming up. Can she do it? What? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing to me? I don't know if I can handle all this stuff. <laughs> I'm willing to say I could have been wrong about this whole pageant thing. Mm. Yes. Can you look me in my eyes like that? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> Woo! Yeehaw! Woo! Crank it up! Here we go! One, three, four! Boop, 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 and the pageant we're gonna be doing this week is a rodeo theme. I've got one spot for these girls to go be in the rodeo. That's what I'm picking today. Who is it gonna be? Is it gonna be Addison? Is it gonna be Michaela? Is it gonna be Hannah? Is it gonna be Ansley? Is it gonna be Mara? We're not sure. Ow, my finger. Hannah, pick it up. Hannah did not move her feet. Hannah, move your feet. It's too hard. I ain't got all day to teach this dance. I've got to eat lunch at some point. Whatever. Boom, 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 boom. I wasn't stealing any excitement from the girls about doing this. They're looking bored, which concerns me. To the right, to the left. I can't really don't know her right from her left. Oh my gosh. Are you doing your To route? the right. They all were like very awkward and very Polly Princess. Like, I don't want to touch that. Ansley, that is the worst. Are you going to rope an ant or a roach with that? <laughs> we're talking cow, honey. Oh. Moms want me to help their kids win, but the kids got to want it for themselves. The same working. And I'm not seeing that a lot in these girls. <laughs> Listen, I don't understand why you want to do something like this anyways. Really? You don't remember what happened to me in 1991? My year at Miss America in Atlantic City was a rodeo scene. Is Bane right? Is Bane the right word? Since then, rodeo pageants have been the bane of my existence. Girl, I was on stage at Miss America, front and center in the opening number, and the whole theme was rodeo. Remember? I'll never forget it. It was like this. Yeah, I was just like that. <laughs> me and rodeos. That is like me walking in flats. We're going to have to get old school and go find a cowgirl where she is at. I have some ideas on where we might could find a few. In a short, short period of time, it's going to be hard to take some of that rodeo-ness out of a rodeo girl and get her into a pair of heels and, and looking fabulous. I don't know, Kim. I think I can do it. I'll bet you a spray tan you can. You're wrong. Let's do it. Bring it, sister. I will. Listen, you guys are my pageant pros. I love you. I train you. You're, you're talented. You're gifted. You did good, you got a good effort, but I'm just not so sure this is the pageant for you, okay? I would tell my girls, sit out a few pageants. Sometimes it's good to be missed. The judges are looking for something fresh too. They see these same old girls over and over and over again. At least you could give them a chance. I mean, what's the big deal? You guys go change and we'll be ready to leave when y'all get out, okay? And when you change, Ainsley, you change that attitude too. Well, y'all know that I'm here to win, and I want to win every pageant. Mara will win, and she can't win without competing. So I might just have to take matters in my own hands, just letting y'all know. Just because Kim was Miss Georgia in 1991, it doesn't mean that she's right all the time. And we're going to prove Kim wrong.
I grew up in the country, but there's nothing about me that's country. Sir, we're here for the rodeo. I know that's right. I love spas, and I love massages, and I love to exfoliate. I like to come to drink the beer and hang out. I wanted to take Allison with me trying to find my rodeo girl because Allison knows real rodeo. Oh my God. Cow crap, horse crap, anything like that is not gonna be something she's conducive to. Allison, I can't come out here through this. Breathe through your mouth. <gasps> the odor was so pungent. <clears throat> oh God, help me, Jesus. And Allison, of course, was unfazed. She was like, girl, this is great. I love it. Oh, these are my kind of people. Let me get some ball peanuts. You know, and I'm sitting there thinking, oh, God, I got to get out of here. She's beautiful. She is pretty gorgeous. What Kim doesn't realize is that a rodeo is a lot like a pageant. He's beautiful, girl. Some of these girls on the horses, they had like sequins on and they were red, white, and blue, all bannered up with their big flags, you know. I love the glitter. I do too. So I had hope when I went to the rodeo because there were some good looking chicks there. Sir, you cutie in the pink, can you rope this heifer? I am gonna kick your butt. Oh my God, he was hot. Well, they've got a lot of girls. God, the smell's getting worse out, so oh my God. God, Kim, why don't you get you some farm boots? They've got buckles on them. That's why I thought they were kind of well, girl, that is so backwards. I pushed through the odor, pushed through the smell to get my girl. Look wait, at the girl wait, right wait, there. Wait. Look at the girl right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's bedazzled. Yep, She's love bedazzled. her. Oh, my God. She's bedazzled. That's, uh -huh. These girls probably have never wore heels. They probably never thought about it. Those girls are blank canvases to me. You look beautiful. You What's look your name? Gorgeous. Ashley. Oh. The girl we're looking for was definitely going to be a country girl. But maybe somebody that you could see potential, like to, to get her polished quickly. Ashley's 29, so that's oh, not that's working so out. 29 years old, you don't look a day over 12, I know. 14, 14 16, 16, 18. Yeah. You got good jeans, you look beautiful. We didn't find a lot of young girls that stood out. The flags, the flag. Should we be saluting? Yeah, let's salute. It's over there. OK, oh, that's the wrong button. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic which, from in which it stands, stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Cowgirls go time. If you'll turn your attention down to that center arena, please make welcome your cowgirl out of Fayetteville, Georgia. Give it up, it's Hope. There she is. For the first time, Alice and I looked at each other and we completely 100% agreed. Oh, yeah, girl. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is our rodeo girl. Now, that chick, I can do something with her. Just think of me like a baseball scout. I'll go anywhere to find good talent. This could be really like she comes. Here she comes. Hey, ho. Man. My name is Kim. Uh, hey. How are you? I'm good. So talented, so good. Thank you, are. I loved how you, yeah. you got down and you roped up. I mean, I don't know how you do all that. You don't need girl. <laughs> it's hard. And who's your horse here? This is Silky. Silky. Hey. I mean, how do you know how to do all that stuff? I have a person that helps Oh, you have a coach. I happen to be a coach myself. OK. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's why we're talking to you. We saw you ride, and we saw your talent. And we have a pageant coaching business called The Pageant Place. Can you take your hat off? I want to see you real good. It's pretty bad. No, it's <laughs> not. Let me see the back turn, of your hair. Turn. Do a little turn. Yeah. It's not <laughs> bad at all. It's not working. How long have you been riding? Since I was three. How long have you been roping? started a couple years ago, about fourth grade. Do you love it? I love it. You're a natural. You're a natural. Thank you. We are looking for someone just like you to enter a rodeo beauty pageant, <laughs> and we think you got what it takes. Absolutely. <laughs> Have you ever been in anything like that before? Not at all. Do you wear makeup? Not at all. High heels? Never. <laughs> gown? Evening gown? A sleeping gown that you sleep in. 
And then her mom joins us. I'm Kim. Hi, Kim. I'm the owner of the Pageant Place, and she lives a hard sell. Just let me bottom line it for you. We have a pageant coming up next week. We saw Hope. I think she'd be a perfect entry into the pageant. I really wanted to do it, but my mom is like the anti-pageant mom. She don't like pageants. Have you ever wanted to be more girly? Yeah, I've wanted to be more girly. I just don't know how to be. That's my job. <laughs> adding hair, adding makeup, adding eyelashes, all the things that they seem to do to children, I, I just don't understand that. I like to say we build beauty from the outside in, because I believe a young girl who looks the part on the outside feels better about her inside. Give me a call. Let me know, OK? We will think about no it. No pressure, okay. but there is pressure because it's in a week. Right. So we got to get started. seems to be a little bit on the fence whether she's going to let Hope do this pageant or not. So we're really not 100% sure that Robin is on board with us working with Hope this week. Are you scared? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit or a lot of bit? A lot of bit. When I was growing up, we were very not pageant people. My dad's theory was if it wouldn't get you further in life, there's no sense to do it. That's just not the kind of things that we do. It's definitely different. This is a whole different experience. I just look at pageants and go, really? Why? I don't even hardly wear dresses, so I'm kind of nervous about that. I'm nervous about wearing high heels. I've never done a pageant. When my friends do pageants, they get all dressed up and they get to look all girly, and I never really get to do that. Could be your only pageant. But maybe not. Hope and her mom walk in, and I think they were a bit overwhelmed. Because it is, you know, a feminine environment. I want to hear why you want this. Um, I know I can ride a horse, but I don't feel confident about my appearance. She's got a sweet personality, and she's a real smart girl. She just doesn't have the self-esteem. All you need is a little help, and we're here to help. One of the best ways to convince mom and make Hope feel beautiful is to put her in a real pretty, frilly dress. I got something for you. Right. You're going freak. Hope is not a girly girl in any way. All the way to the dressing room. Her attire consists of cowboy hat, boots, jeans, spurs. Hope, you could saddle a horse faster than you can put this dress on. Come on. Don't laugh at me. I'm not going to laugh. Why would you pay thousands of dollars for a dress that you're probably only going to wear once? Pretty. I thought, oh, Lord, honey, we got to get you out in the boots. We got to get your hair combed and that hat going. God bless America. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. And the shoes are in the duck socks. socks. The lucky ducky socks. I, oh, those are your lucky ducky socks? Those are my lucky ducky socks. You got to have those to win? They don't got to be on, but they got to be near. Take the boots off. Allison, go get the heels. Can you take two steps for me? I can take two steps. They're going to okay. be baby steps. Before I came, I had never worn heels before. I may have like little tiny ones that I wore to church, but that was about it. Listen, if you can ride a horse, you can ride a pair of heels, okay. honey. I can promise Hold on you to that. Cam. This feels weird. How weird does it feel? Oh, oh God. I was very worried about her falling off the shoes and killing herself. Please yeah. don't roll your ankle. I got honey. her, I got her. <laughs> she was walking and it was awkward and she wasn't comfortable. It was rocky. But heels, we can work on. But we have got to find the perfect hairstyle for this girl, because it's the first thing the judges see. OK, what I'm thinking is the half up, half down. We used to do this back in high school. And then look, you kind of put it out like a pineapple. A doo-doo ball on top. <laughs> I love that. The problem with working with two other women is agreeing on a hairstyle. It's a little flashback, but girl, nobody's doing this anymore. And that's I, I don't I'm think it's flashback. Why. I think it's 4-H club. No offense, Robin. <laughs> Move over. Watch this. Back oh, off. Give ruin me my it room. all. All my work. I say we take it this all the way This is a natural up. pageant, Kim. Right. It's Grace Kelly. All right. What do y'all think about this? Well, that's the ugliest piece. It's of French it. twist. Kim, you ain't never had Kim. no hair to do a French Grace, twist. It's class. Oh, crap. Do you Grace know how to Kelly do a French was not twist? 15. They argued all the time. I was thinking to myself, oh, goodness, what have you gotten yourself into? That's all right, awesome. Mom, have at it. Y'all are wearing I can out. tell you, you don't know nothing about hair. Are you crazy? No. All this needs to be full back here. 
we don't do hair and makeup. As long as your horse looks good and you make it look good in the ring, you don't have to be a uh, cowgirl Barbie. We need to come I'm back here and we need to do this. Kim, you're Can messing just... my curls up. It's <laughs> not time to tease. Stop. If Hope's hair is going to look halfway decent, I'm the one that's going to have to do it. Not those two. They don't know much about hair. Just look at theirs. <laughs> I am in shock and awe. Hope was beautiful, but I do like my tomboy, and I don't want her to swing to the other end of the pendulum and be prissy, because we kind of like her the way she is. I'm telling you, what is up, Buttercup? This is gorgeous. <laughs> I like it. Do you like it? I love it. I just want to put my hands in it. I just want to put my... Ah! She was right. It was the perfect year for Hope. Come in, beautiful Mara. <gasps> so good to see you. It's hot outside. Oh, I know. I need help, girl. Because Kim did not pick Mara to be in the pageant after all that. Well, she didn't pick Hannah either. Yeah. So what are you going to do? I'm going to take her to the pageant anyway. Oh, no. Are you cray-cray? Why would you not send your best pageant girl to the pageant? Look, we've got to stay loyal to Kim. Angie always tries to suck me in. She is our pageant coach. Are you going to help me or not? Oh, I got to pray about this. She was really trying to pull me. and She's like, Deborah, let's go. And because I love and support Angie, I was very on the fence. Kim did not say we couldn't compete. She just said that she didn't pick them. I was like, oh, Lord, here we go on the crazy train. What if she kicks us out? She what can't tell they... us what we can do. But then what if they win? Then we could prove her wrong. Yeah. I love Angie. Personally, she's one of my best friends. But my loyalty is definitely to Kim. So it's very hard. I just kind of have to remain neutral. That's definitely what I'm doing at this time. Mom, I don't want Kim to be mad at me. But I want to prove to her that we can shine on stage no matter what the theme is. You know how she always says, I hate clogging, I hate clogging, blah, 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 blah. Well, this is the pageant to clog. Kim is going to be eating her words when we get there, and she's going to have to look at me for the first time and say, guess what, you were right, and I was wrong, and I'm going to make her do that. Can you think of how great you'll feel when you get there that day and you walk out on that stage and you succeed in something that she thought that you couldn't do? I do want to have a feeling that I did great. So I'm trying to give you that opportunity. That's all. I'm still feeling a lot of hesitation from Hope's mother, so I need to get Robin's blessing before I go any further. Robin, yesterday, I felt resistance. I think my personal opinion is you're scared. There was a fear in Robin that I sensed about Hope doing this. Oh, I, I definitely am scared because that's just not our world, and I don't know how to help her in that world. Mm. And I knew I'd have to get inside of her psyche and realize where she's coming from before I move forward with Hope. Does Hope feel beautiful? I hope she does. Think back to when you were her age. I mean, how many times did you feel unattractive? I mean, I wake up still looking in the mirror and go, I'm the ugliest, fattest thing I've ever seen. Well, I even look at her now and go, if I had if I had realized I looked like that at her age, you know, <laughs> you know, but you know, you don't realize you those don't realize things. those. Beauty is not on the outside, but for women, unless you see it physically on the outside, you can't even begin to believe it on the inside. That's why we do what we do. That's what took me 35 years of my life to recognize. You know, that it. I am beautiful, and I am special, and it ain't my lip gloss, and it ain't my hair. It's me, and I like me. That took me 35 years to get there, Robin. Let's not do that for Hope. Let's go ahead and give her that now, you know? I want her to wake up and say, I'm beautiful, and I wrote and rise. <laughs> exactly. You know? Okay. So I guess my question to you is, do I have your blessing to work with Hope, at least through this pageant? This pageant is way out of my comfort zone. 
but I'm going to, to do my best to help Hope. Well, girl, I'm out of my comfort zone out here, and I just, that's how you grow. Yeah. We can do this. Let's do it together. Okay. Deal. All right. Good. All right, listen, I gotta talk to you about something. What's that? Talent is the most important thing in the pageant. Because I wasn't like all this back in the day. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. You know, in my pageant days, it wasn't just about looks. You had to have a talent. I mean, you need a talent, and that is still true today. You feel comfortable with dancing? It's kind of, sort of. What you got? I can do the Cotton Eye Joe, too. Do that. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Heel, toe, uh, uh. You want to count the three? I'll count three. Okay. One, two, three, here we go. Deal, deal, toe, toe. Heel, toe, deal, out. Uh, 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 uh. Do you like the mouth open and the tongue? Oh, yeah, and all that just, huh, what's up? <laughs> Sassy, saucy, I am fabulous. Okay. I am fabulous. That's it. I am fabulous. Say it louder. I am fabulous. All right, do it, do it. Okay. One, two, three. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Heel, toe, and out. I'm trying. We need a little bit more. Okay. Hope. All right. What else you got? You got anything else? Well, I can do a backflip off the diving board. That's no pool. I can limbo. Too sexy. A hopscotch. Too juvenile. Too juvenile. Okay. I have a dog. What am I gonna do with a dog? She does tricks. Well, show me a trick. Lucy, put up. Good girl. Oh, wow. This is Lucy. A lot of times when you're looking for talent, go for something that's original, that's gonna get people's attention. Fire batons and live animals will always make you at least top 10. Fire? We're not going fire batons okay, on you. No, especially not in this barn with all this wood. We're gonna go animal. I'm excited this is something different and unique and will definitely get the judge's attention. If I can catch this dog, you can win that pageant. All right, all right I got all right. you. Lucy, come on. Go. Come on. Lucy. That's a good Lucy. Take her from the savior of my talent rodeo pageant. Ha! But she has to practice with those heels. Mara, I gotta get finished stoning these boots or they're never gonna dry. Oh, that's cute. You picked out that? Yeah. Kim thinks Mara doesn't have what it takes to win this rodeo pageant, but we do. Mara's a better pageant girl than anybody Kim can go dig up somewhere. All right, fast shuffles, ready? Hands behind your back. That's not in clogging. We're gonna do it in the clogging shoes. These freaking judges ain't gonna know. I will, and I'll feel stupid doing well, it. Well, so? Kim doesn't know that Mara can clog, which is perfect for the theme in a Western rodeo outfit. I ain't doing it. Yes, you are. No. Listen. Listen. It's showy, it's good, and it it's wins. Tight. Now do it. I'm gonna count to three and I'm taking your phone. One. Okay, whatever. Two. Mama. Okay. Okay, ready? How about that? All right, you gotta put your hands on your hips good, then double step. Up. Go. You can't clomp like a horse. Well, I can't help that I have big feet. Go after it, Marla. Double step, toe up, then swing. I can only take hope so far. Luckily, she knows what it takes to be a real competitor. It takes a lot of practice. My feet hurt. Especially walking in those heels. Heels I'm going to have to practice on a lot, because it's going to be hard. But whatever Kim tells me to do, I'm going to do it. She says, jump, I'm gonna say, how high? Clap like you mean it, not like a wimp. We're gonna get to the pageant and we're gonna prove Kim wrong. Make it sting. Good. I'm very competitive and I wanna do the best I can do and if the best I can do is win, and I do want to win. Don't. Yeah, but I'm telling you, when you get out there, you better rock it down like I don't know what. I'm going to take Mara to the rodeo pageant. Kim's probably going to pitch a fit. Oh, well. Won't be the first fit she's ever pitched, and probably won't be the last. Come to 
support my best friend. It's so, so nice for her to come, show her support for Mara at the pageant. Here's the dressing room, y'all. Come on okay. in. Okay, great. Oh, oh, Lord. Finally a dressing room. I go into the dressing room. And there sits the dark black angel, Angie. Turned the corner, I thought Kim was gonna die. Good morning. I was speechless, which is virtually impossible for me because I can talk the hair off a monkey's butt, but I had no words. Hey, Mara. Hi, Mara. Hey. How are you, baby? Good. Good to see you. You know, you hear rumors, you know, Debbie told me that she was coming, even though I asked Angie not to come. It's a free world. We can go and do whatever we want to do. But when I saw Angie, it just became real. Yeah. I think we're going to go to the other dressing room. I just knew I couldn't get Hope ready in that environment. So we just had to go to the other dressing room. Yes, yeah, she's mad. There is no way you can go out there with a Jerry girl. <laughs> no relax, right? No. That ain't gonna relax. I don't know why you work so hard to, to look, look so cheap. cheap. Is that hair extensions? The what? Is that hair extensions that she has in? No, it's a fall. Well, that's kind of like hair extensions though, right? Kind of. Kind of, okay. It's a natural pageant, so they can't have any of that, you know, glitzy type makeup. Well, obviously, um, you haven't been to a lot of pageants, so. Well, I've been to quite a few. Okay. okay. When a director tells me that you can't wear this, you can't wear that, sometimes I follow the rules, and most of the time I don't. So, I mean, if she's going to compete, she's going to have to tone it down just a little bit. Nothing that's that heavy. You call that heavy? Yeah, I call it real heavy. Mara is a naturally beautiful child. She doesn't need all that, but that's hard to convince Angie of. She's sassy. She needs to wipe some of that makeup she's got on. <sighs> Angie will do anything for a pageant. She is a crown hog. And that makes me upset, you know? Because the reason I didn't have Mara and Angie come was because it was a natural pageant. It was a perfect pageant for Hope. She don't want to start with me today. We got a lot to do in a short amount of time. Hair has got to be styled. And Mom came up with the idea to do an elegant side ponytail. That's pretty. I wanted to showcase Hope's natural beauty, so we decided to go with minimal makeup because this is a natural pageant. Just like I put the dark at your cheekbones, I'm putting the concealer on you to brighten you. She's a tomboy. She's not used to makeup. So I wanted to give her life lessons that she could carry on after pageantry. It's not what you put on. It's where you put it. Oh. OK, so do you see how that's brightening your eyebrow? So it's making you look bright without having to put a lot of makeup on. But especially for a natural pageant, I'm just going to add a little like coral flesh color right here to the center of your lip. What's going to make it look natural, but yet pop a little bit. You look wow. beautiful. You look different. A lot different. Do you think you look a lot different? <laughs> a lot different. I don't have any plain lipstick. Do you have some? I didn't bring any. I just need some nude lipstick. I need muted color lips and lip gloss. Oh, she yeah. has Kim. Angie did need Kim's assistance. Will you go ask her, please? Are you kidding me? I need muted color lips and lip gloss. And I can't put this hot pink on her. The director's already been in here and said it's too bright. So of course, I was the go-between. Kim, yeah. can you please help us? What you Look need? at the lipstick Mara has. It's glitz. We need That's natural. not glitz. That's hot pink. Who wears hot pink except Allison. a transvestite on the corner of Atlanta? Look. Look. And I thought to myself, OK, I was going to run over there and make a little package up and send it over. And I thought, no, I'm not. No, I can't, y'all. Now, Deborah is running around doing Angie's dirty work. And if she wants the lipstick, she can come ask me herself. Oh, she'll you know singing. she'll never ask. Then she'll never get it. Getting ready an outfit of choice. Mm -hmm. A week ago, Hope was in a rodeo tying goat's legs together. And now she is competing in a beauty pageant. This transformation will be amazing. Oh, we got to fix the hat. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> then I've got boots. Oh, the boots. Come on now. I got the lucky, lucky duckies. duckies. <gasps> It's all bedazzled, which I love, with bedazzled boots and a bedazzled hat. 
she was on fire. You look gorgeous. How do you feel? I feel pretty. Seeing Hope transform from head to toe reassures me that my instincts are right to find a cowgirl to be in this pageant. And it's everything I ever imagined it would be. Oh. She's got that down. You got it down, girl. I'm always amazed at how long it takes to get a natural look. I love her hair. It's kind of ironic. That's yeah. good. Is your earrings on tight? Make sure they're not yeah. looking Hi, Mara. Hi, Angie. Hey. Hey, Angie. It's pageant day, and Mom, Allison, and I are attempting to turn a real cowgirl into a real pageant queen. Clip. Angie brought the glitzy red and pink lipstick to an all-natural pageant. If she thinks I'm giving up my nude and neutral lipstick to her, she's got another thing coming. Is your earrings on tight? Make sure they're not going to come off. Laura. Hey, Mara. Hi, Angie. Hey. Hey, Angie. Mara, this is Hope. Hey. Hi. This is my rodeo girl entry, and obviously you're in it too. You look beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I decided that I would take Mara with me because, you know, maybe Kim will be a little bit nicer to me if Mara's standing there witnessing the whole ordeal. We need some lipstick. I know, Debbie told me. Angie's a freak. Secretly, she wants to beat me. That's bottom line. Well, first of all, let me say, I was shocked when I saw you here. You know I love y'all. And I don't understand why you came to do this pageant after I didn't enter Mara in it on purpose. Well, because I got in the car and Mara said she was so disappointed and she was so upset. Oh, she I don't said how that, much Angie. Allison said how good she did oh, on the my line gosh. dancing and, and the roping. And she said that this is all. Why am I not believing it? And you got a person. She will lie, cheat, steal to be number one. And I entered Hope in this pageant because this is a first good, first time pageant for Hope. I really thought this might be a little bit a step down for Mara and where her talents and gifts lie in pageantry. I'm trying to cultivate this young woman to be Miss Georgia one day. Mara doesn't have any problems. She's polished, she's pretty, she's talented. She's clearly a winner. Her problem is Angie, her mom. You know, I would take a bullet for these girls. <sighs> and I have worked long and hard to help Mara, Angie, get where she is. I love you, but sometimes your competitiveness is outrageous. Now, Saying that, everybody, y'all get out there and want to win the dang old thing, <laughs> OK? But you can't go out there looking like a painted hussy. Let's fix this child's lips. Hold on, ho. Come here. I see Mara's little face, Miss Kim. How can you deny that little cutie patootie? Team Mara, Team Hope, we're Team Pageant Place today, OK? Can I get in? Get in, Betty Boop. I'm sorry. I love you. One, two, three, Pageant Place! I'm sorry. Go, let's go. Come on. Mara, you're a mess. Only your mother would have you in a train on casual wear. Let's go. Go, Mara! Let's see if these country judges think our girls have any talent. Next up, we have Mara. Woo! But Angie was nervous, and I was glad. Here we go, clogging. Why does every little southern girl got a clog? Work it, girl. I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. There's nothing about that that I like at all, ever. Ah, oh, I hate it. Hope's routine combines all the tricks she taught Lucy and her roping skills. I also threw a little Cotton Eye Joe moves in for good measure. Go yep. This way. To the left. Okay. And she'll stay. And she'll go back down. Considering I only had a week to work with Hope and she's never worn anything shinier than a belt buckle, I'm praying for the best, y'all. Next up in our talent portion is Hope. Woo! 
Lucy's doing good. I was nervous, but her hair was beautiful. Her makeup wasn't overdone. Oh, God. Heck came off. Heck came okay. off. It's OK. Animals are a crowd favorite, but the judges were stone cold. These judges are too serious for the Miss Liberty Rodeo. Rope one of them mean old judges. <laughs> <laughs> It was good. It was good. You gotta go get the beauty. Okay. Are we ready to put her in our gown? Change over. <gasps> oh, it is so pretty. I know. It is so beautiful. It's like a Cinderella dress. It is like a Cinderella it dress. Is. And it's bedazzled. Oh, you're gonna look oh, like a million yes. bucks in this thing, girl. Wow. I like the gown a lot. It was a lot different than what I was used to wearing. Take this right here, pull this whole thing like this. Get on the other side. It almost looks like a little marshmallow right there at the end. I love that. It's like you're walking on a little cloud. Is this zipper broke? Got it, got it, got it. Hope, Hope. don't think about it. Hope. If I pinch your skin, it's Hope. all for the name of love. Draw in. Hold, Hold your, your breath. breath. Hold, Hold your you. breath. Getting a girl ready for evening gown takes time. The dress has to fit perfectly, the makeup has to be perfection, and the hair has to be just right. When mom did her hair, it was perfection. All right, let's see. A week ago, I was riding my horse, not expecting to be at a pageant the next weekend. Uh, this is kind of fun, but what am I doing? Got it. Oh. Mom, come on in. How does she look? Great. Robin walks in and sees her daughter for the first time transformed into this young woman. You're doing so good. That's your cowgirl. I love the dress. I love the hair. I love it all. She looked like a princess. She was absolutely beautiful. I could tell she was nervous, but I could tell that she was, you know, just kind of caught up in the moment. And, you know, it may be a once in a lifetime thing, and she was just going to enjoy it. Good luck. Thank you. See you in a minute. See you. Bye, Robin. Bye. Thank you. Hope looks absolutely gorgeous. All of our hard work has paid off, especially mine. All right, step in. I've got you. I've got you. I can't <laughs> see down here. When we put the heels on Hope, I got nervous. All right, let me see you walk one little quick second right out here. You can be as beautiful as the day is long, but if you cannot skillfully walk in a pair of heels, the judges are going to see that. Uh-oh. Go you back. Again? Come on, concentrate, Hope. It was really hard to walk in. I was thinking to myself, there's no way I'm going to be able to walk on stage with these without falling flat on my face. Why don't we just use Hope's old riding boots? Nobody can even see your feet in that big old dress. It doesn't matter if your feet are perfect or not. I'm taking Hold the on. shoes off first. <laughs> and of course, her lucky ducky socks. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. Sometimes you just can't take the country out of the cowgirl. Two minutes. Oh, goodness. Where's the number? Where's her number? First girl's walking. I can just tell she's overwhelmed. Oh, this is it. This is it. That's good. That's good. That looks right. OK, go, go. OK. Go, 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 go. I'm so confused. Your hair is looking good. Next, we have contestant number four, Hope. <laughs> Hope is the 14-year-old daughter of Floyd and Robin. This pageant is a small, sweet, little precious pageant. For a virgin to the pageant world, Miss Liberty Rodeo is the way to go. And I knew Hope would feel comfortable, she would not feel overwhelmed, and it's a hometown pageant, which is right up Hope's alley. In front of people, in front of judges, for the first time, I mean, that can be a bit intimidating. I thought she did well for being a first-timer. Good call on the boots, Al. If I can have all my Junior Miss contestants line up. Our prettiest eyes goes to contestant number two, Kimby. Your prettiest hair goes to contestant number four, Hope. She was beautiful. She seemed to be happy. And the world will not end if you play princess. You won that, that one, girl. She won best hair, which mom takes credit for that. Your first runner-up goes to contestant number three, Grayson. Mm -hmm. 
my heart was beating so fast. I'm telling you, you could audibly hear it. It's like, goo 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 goo. And your junior miss, 2013 Miss Liberty Queen, goes to contestant number six, Laura. <laughs> I didn't want Mara to lose, but I wanted Angie to learn a lesson. <laughs> Angie doesn't like me half the time. She'll say she does, she's lying. Oh, you're a freak. <laughs> you're you a total freak. freak. Do you you understand how much pressure I had on me? What did she do to win? What do you mean with pressure? Oh, she shouldn't even been here. Oh my God, give these girls a fighting chance. Truth. My dad used to always say this to me, keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. Is Angie an enemy or is she a friend? Remains to be seen. I wasn't there to win so much. I was there for the experience. I don't feel like I was going to come in last place, but I didn't think I was going to win either. You think you'd ever do it again? I might. <laughs> I like to hear that. I had fun, but I might want to do some rodeo pageants that has modeling and wear dresses, and you get to ride your horse. You can do anything such a mind to. I'm a little disappointed that Hope didn't win, but I won the bet. <laughs> I lost the bet with Allison that I could turn a cowgirl into a pageant winner, but I never told her where the spray tan was going to take place. <laughs> well, this is a oh, professional oh, tan. Oh, this is professional, baby, a pageant play special. Is it even out? Oh, it'll even out. I'll roll it all out. It'll be just so clear. Let me get your neck. Lean up. Oh, that's perfect. Damn, really? Mm -hmm. That look good. Is it looking good? It's going to look perfect. Damn. <laughs>